defeat D-Man's forces, but leave him free. What? My thoughts exactly, high-pitched Skeletor. Who is this imposter with the gravelly voice? It's not from a fan film, and it's not a knockoff. It actually comes straight from the mecca of animated Motu. <laughs> Filmation Studios. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the first animated appearance of Skeletor and more importantly, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. It's the first time we see and hear our favorite figures come to life. He-Man, Skeletor has captured Castle Grayskull. It's a 35 second scene that aired a full year before the animated series. The animation is beautiful, darker, detailed. Here I am, Skeletor. We'll also see how it compares to the series and figure out what the deal is with those voices. But Castle Grayskull is safe with us. Oh, and uh, I'm Jimmy Gaddis. If you're new to the channel or haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button to join us on a nostalgic adventure back to the 80s and the 90s. So I'm scoping out some Masters of the Universe content to post on our Instagram page. Go give that a follow while we're at it. When I came across a lost Masters of the Universe commercial, it includes live actors with an animated scene sandwiched in between. I don't recall ever seeing this as a kid, so of course I felt compelled to do some digging learn as much as I could about it, and share that knowledge with you. Because knowledge is power, and we... <laughs> that said, Time Warp, take us back to 1982. The first wave of He-Man figures and vehicles is out, along with the most epic playset on the planet. This toy comes with something that can really open up a kid's imagination. Its own legend. He-Man! Skeletor is his enemy. It's the Masters of the Universe collection. And for my kids, the legend begins here with Castle Grayskull. Castle Grayskull. Big, beautiful, about 20 bucks. To help move this green giant off store shelves, Mattel called on Filmation to animate part of a commercial. As the documentary Power of Grayskull, the definitive history of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe explained, this commercial would set the stage for the animated series that so many of us would fall in love with as kids. Uh, we did full animation. We had like two weeks to do it. I mean, we were just flying and it sold the show. So here's how the spot plays out. After dad the gives his spiel, here. the filmation the magic begins. It holds the powers of the universe. He man, Skeletor has captured Castle Grayskull. We must stop his evil power. To Grayskull! Skeletor and his minions, Beastman and Merman, the only evil figures out at the time, have taken Castle Grayskull. He man, Teela, Man at Arms, and Battle Cat aim to take it back. The animation is so detailed. First thing I did, grab some screenshots and zoom around. You can see just how consistent the artwork is with the figures, down to the straps on their backs that keep their armor in place. Look at this, you can see those straps on Skeletor and Beastman. Skeletor also has clawed feet, just like his figure and his drawn out likeness on the back of the card. By the time the series rolled around, he was relegated to rocking purple booties. Man in Arms is clean shaven, just like the figure, as opposed to the mustache he grew for the series. It was the 80s, they were in, I guess. He's also got that tube thing on his armor, which eventually was a no-show in the series. Remember Castle Grayskull's trap door? Beastman's escaping. The throne, Dad. Well, we see Skeletor use it on He-Man before Teela helps him escape. Interesting side note, this scene would play out again a year later in the 1983 DC comic, Masters of the Universe, Within These Walls, Armageddon. Some other interesting notes about the commercial, like no power sword for He-Man. He busts through Grayskull's wall with his shield and ax. And as they head into battle, it's Teela who hops aboard Cringer. Sorry. Battle Cat. Uh, as for the voiceover work, let me start by saying this info comes straight from He-Man historian and expert James Etock. He's the author of numerous Motu books, including the one you always see behind me back there on the shelf. Love it. As I dove into the comments section on his Instagram, I learned He-Man was not voiced by John Irwin, rather Burr Middleton, who voiced Filmation's Shazam in the mid-70s. Here I am, Skeletor. Now, how do you suppose they got out? As for Skeletor and Man at Arms, they're voiced by Alan Oppenheimer, who also voiced them in the series. So that's consistent, but obviously, how those characters sounded would change. Skeletor has captured Castle Grayskull! The explosives are in the arms chest. We have to set them at the door the beast came from. Although, that initial gruffer Skeletor... But leave him to me. It would stick around and become the voice of Battle Cat. Let's see how you like being in a glass cage. 
If you're interested in hearing more about the voiceover work, animation style, and how it compares to the series and why it likely changed, Etoc put together a fantastic video that dives deeper. I've got a link in the description. As it relates to this animation style, in short, it just would have been too expensive and too time consuming to do for a series of TV shows that each lasted 23 minutes long. There is some debate as to when this commercial aired. Some folks claim this was the first Motu commercial ever. I'm of the belief that it was at least the third commercial in the long line of He-Man and Masters of the Universe commercials. Who's the big guy with the muscles? You're He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. I reached out to James Etock to see if he had any insight and he was kind enough to respond and agrees. He said, yeah, I don't believe it was the first commercial. There were at least one or two toy-centric commercials that focused on the figures. So there you go. James, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to respond. So did you bear witness to this commercial with your own two eyes back in the day? Do you wish they had the resources to stick to this animation style? Or do you prefer the brighter, simpler look we got in 1983? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content that's gonna make you feel nostalgic for the 80s and the 90s. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. This toy comes with something that can really open up a kid's imagination. Its own legend. He-Man! Skeletor is his enemy. It's the Masters of the Universe collection. And for my kids, the legend begins here with Castle Grayskull. It holds the powers of the universe. He-Man! Skeletor has captured Castle Grayskull! We must stop his evil power! To Grayskull! <laughs> Defeat E-Man's forces, but leave him to me. Here I am, Skeletor. He-Man! Skeletor is getting away! But Castle Grayskull is safe with us! Nothing safe while Skeletor is out there. And so the legend continues in this Masters of the Universe collection. And in the imagination of my kids. Look for it. It's new. From Mattel. <laughs> Want more Motu magic? Be sure to check out this video right here. Just waiting on the doggo. Finish climbing the steps. Come on, old man. Good boy. Go lay down and put your bed right there so you can watch daddy do his thing.